he says, they were all ultimately profitless. Like chasing the wind. There is nothing gained from them on earth. You know, we think about this for a second. How do we apply this in our own life? You know, before Christ, you know, I can, you know, I can remember doing the same thing. We all can. You know, as I would drive down the road with my uh, dad, um, I would see a sand rail. And, oh, if I had that, I would be happy. Or if it was the new crave, or the new craze at school, you know, or whatever we were going through. If I had that, I'd be happy. And, you know, it's like eating an ice cream cone, isn't it? It's good for a little while. But then the good's over, and then there's the guilt. And so, you know, you know, it's a, it's a, when we see what it really means to be happy, we're going to be um, really amazed. You see, as believers in Christ now, um, we have a different source that we live from. Um, when we received Him and believed in Jesus Christ as our personal Savior and Lord, through faith, God the Father, through His Holy Spirit, grafted us in Christ. This gave us the right to become His children. We are totally forgiven. Jesus has taken our past, present, future sins. The blood of Jesus continues to cleanse our sin. And so in Christ, we are made righteous. And that word righteous in the scriptures in Romans 5.19, because of the obedience of the one man, Jesus Christ, the many will be made righteous. Such means in right standing with God. And so, we know God made Him who had no sin to be sin for us, so that in Him we might become the righteousness of God. So, you know, first of all, catalyst for change, um, happiness um, is going to know, is, is understanding who we are now in Christ. Before Christ, we were empty. You know, Pascal said there was a God-shaped vacuum in the heart of every man that could not be filled by any created thing only by God, made known through Jesus Christ. Um, God the Creator, made known through Jesus Christ. And so, in Christ today, we are full. Um, you know, Paul, the Apostle Paul, um, wrote in Colossians to the church in Colossae, these were Gentile Christians, as we are too, um, in Christ now. He says, you are complete through your union with Christ. And so, our spiritual needs for unconditional love, acceptance, security, assurance, um, significance, meaning we're always lovable because Jesus made us lovable at the cross, and we're clean. Um, he's loving us, you know, he's faithful, he's committed, and these spiritual needs are always met by him, and they are in our spirit, they're spiritual needs, and so we, as we trust the Holy Spirit to renew our mind to this, so we can be transformed um, we're going to discover as believers in Christ that life is lived from the inside out now. And so he's fulfilled us. He's completed us in Christ. Now we're going to live from the inside out. And we're just going to learn how to extend what he's already placed in us. And so as we grow in grace, we'll discover more and more what the grace of God really is and how many facets of grace are there. You know, it was when we were placed in Christ, that very life, and there's facets to that life. It's not just Christ as our life now. It's, it's facets that He provided when uh, we were placed in Christ through the Holy Spirit. And so joy happens to be one of those facets. Um, you know, in Philippians 4.19, Paul writes to the church in Philippi, and he says, um, God, my God, um, has met meets all of our needs according to His glorious riches in Christ Jesus. And so, um, I'm going to read uh, the definition of joy. Um, so as believers in Christ, um, um, we live from a new system. We live from an eternal joy that is there 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. So we have joy all the time. Now, I'm not talking about happy circumstances, so some days... We don't have happy circumstances. Some days I don't feel like a Christian. Um, you know, and so a lot of times I'm just not happy. Sometimes I'm tired, I'm crabby. You know, and I think we all can relate to that. So we, we get crabby, we get 
we get tired. We, we're, we're humans, you know. We're spiritual beings here having a human experience. So we are just people. We're human. But instead of happiness, um, we live from joy. And uh, the definition of joy in the Greek language is an awareness of God's grace. And so as we focus in on God's grace alone, we're forgiven of all of our sins, we have eternal life in Him, so we're forgiven and we're loved. And so, and we have peace with God now. When we approach our Heavenly Father in Christ, as children of God, we are always loved and accepted. And this has nothing to do with our physical performance or behavior. But as we focus in on how much we're loved by our Father, that is catalyst for change. I'm going to just read one more verse from Jesus when He speaks in John 15, 11. <laughs> These things have I spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. And so I want us to think about that today, and meditate on that. Um, in Christ, our joy is full, and He is our joy. So, remember, the external now, in, uh, before Christ, um, we were pulling in from the external realm. And remember, Satan is the god of the external that always whispers in that first singular pronoun voice and makes it sound like my voice or your voice and our thoughts and our desires. And it's just, if I had that, I'd be happy. No, we're not in that system anymore. We are now in Christ, and we learn to get everything from the inside out because everything to be complete is already in there. So in Christ, we are complete, filled, filled with joy. And so we just thank the Lord that He's providing joy right now in our lives through faith. And that's the way we activate what we already have. This has been Quality of Life, uh, uh, New Covenant uh, Grace Teaching, and much more um, to come um, other than teaching. We have all kinds of things. Um, planned ahead, and so we're really excited about the, what the Lord's doing. And so, my wife and I, we wanted to thank you for this time. Remember, you are um, the most important person here because without you, we could not teach. And remember, um, we're all growing in grace as we all are here. My wife and I, we're growing in grace. We're not there, we haven't arrived. Um, but we learn, and as we learn, we teach. And as we teach, we're learning. And so, I wanted to say thank you. God bless. This has been Joy.